Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore JSON serialization and deserialization in .NET Core using the Visual Studio 2019. We will primarily look at system.test.json. But obviously, before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So first of all, JSON, which is JavaScript object notation, is a lightweight data interchange format. It is easy for humans to read and write. It is easy for machines to pass and generate it as well. So it is based on the subset of the JavaScript programming language standard, ECMA 262, the third edition, which was actually released in 2009 enough of all of that so wh what is serialization so basically a serialization is a process of converting the state of an object into a form that can be persistent or transported the complement of serialization is this serialization which actually converts a stream into an object so to get started obviously we have to open a new project so we as you can see i've got a visual studio opened here so we go to create a new project so basically what we're going to do is just make an example of how to serialize an object into a json and how to deserialize it back into the object so we're going to use a dotnet core console application so we select this bit here and then go next then create the application so basically, we will use system.test.json to do both the serialization and deserialization. So the system.test.json namespace provides functionalities for serializing and to and deserializing from a JavaScript object notation, which is JSON. So the library design emphasizes high performance and low memory allocation over an extensive feature set. Its built-in UTF-8 support optimizes the process of reacting and writing JSON test encoded as UTF-8, which is the most pre um, prevalent encoding for data on the web and files on disk. So there are some certain few namespaces that we need to get us started. So basically, we're going to need, first of all, we're going to write a using, going to need using system dot test dot json obviously going to use a system system dot collections dot object model and we're going to use system dot link as well So that's pretty much it then. So first is we're just gonna create a very simple product class. So it's a public class, which is product. So we're just gonna put in very simple two properties. So first is a string. And this is a name for the product. So the next bit is just going to use double as a data type, and then we're just going to put price. So that's all we're going to do for here. So we're just going to put another bit here public observable collection. So inside this bit here, we're going to put the products. So we can say get products. So we're just going to return new observable collection of products. So we're just going to put, I'm just going to pause it while I'm. So here, so I'm just gonna remove this bit here and then 
return. Okay, so we can put a semicolon here. So inside this curly bracket here, we could say new product Poor Kelly here, so the name we're just gonna give it any name. It's nothing really fancy for. So the price too, we're just gonna put any price. Let's say ten ninety nine. So that's all. We've got to put colon here. So now we can just copy this bit here. And we can paste it. At least three, three is okay. So the second one we just can just make it apple, and the third one we can just make it banana. So we're just gonna change the prices just to make them a bit different. So that's all we've got for this class here. So we're just gonna collapse it here, and then we come inside it. The main. So here we're just gonna declare. Uh, string variable we're just going to call this bit json which will be equal to json serialize so if we if you point it here as you can see it's under system.test.json which is the namespace that we actually added here so as you can see and then the observable collection here is under the system dot collection that dot object model so here we can say dot serialize so we can serialize the object that we want to serialize so we can say a new product and dot get products so as you can see here yeah, it's very simple so here we can just say JSON objects. There we can print it out here again. So we can say JSON. And then straight away, what we can do is just deserialize it. So we can just say, um, To serialize JSON object. So here, this is how we can deserialize the object here. So we could just say a variable products is equal to um, JSON serializer dot deserialize so here as you can see we can either deserialize it synchronously or we can do that asynchronously using the deserialize async so we'll bear that one in mind so in this case we're just going to use the deserialized uh, deserialized what we're going to pass the object so here we're just going to pass in observable collection of products so we can put our object here so here we can pass in the JSON so as you can see here now it's very simple so now we can we can return the observable collection of the products we can do that by just saying the products dot to list so to list, so we can put a product here. Or the to list, we can use the to list the method one. So we can say p, or actually dot to list, then dot for each. So we can use the for each to, to loop. So we can say p equal to, then here we can just say console dot right line. So here we can pass, we can just say p.name just to print out the product names. So 
as you can see here now this is how we can actually serialize and deserialize the JSON object so I'm just gonna run it for us to see what actually comes out of it so just bear in mind so as you can see here now so this is the JSON serialized object and then the, the deserialized JSON object here so we printed out just the name so as you can see here it's not very complicated so yeah so from here you can actually explore it further yourself so i'm just going to leave it here and i hope you you crack on so have a if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are stay blessed peace bye bye